What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Papa Jelly Bean. I am back. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at this new Fallout 4 Downgrader. And I'm going to show you how to exactly how to install it and see if I can answer any of the questions that they had in regards to it crashing and all that. Now, I did do it before. It did stop working for me. And all I simply had to do was just close it and restart it. Plain and simple. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over here to files. Now you have two files. One that requires that you have to download runtime, net 8 runtime, or you can use the very first one that includes the net 8 uh, framework. So I'm going to go with the one that has the net 8 framework already installed. It's a bigger file, but it's less to download. So simply click on the manual download let it download and depending on your computer it could take a while it could not so simply open up your download where'd you go you're hiding on me and then this is what you're going to see so the only thing that you're going to worry about right here is the follow for downloader.exe now people have a lot of concerns about um, signing in with your Steam. So if you go over to the um, thing here, if it's not working for you, enter your login information, blah, blah, blah. And it says right here, if this does not work for you, you don't like the idea of entering your login information. information this user bought it on GOG for $10 and just selected the game to use. Set like the diversion. So that's the other option you can do. So if you are willing to trust this and do it, I had no issues. Double click on that. Then this little box will come up here. Now, as you notice, along the bottom, he gives his email, his Discord servers, and the source of everything. So I'm going to pause this while it loads up. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so now it's downloaded and you're going to be presented with this screen. So I'm going to log into my Steam. I've done it before, so I do trust it. So I'm going to log pause this while I log in because, well, I don't want everybody to know my login information. Okay, so I got everything logged in. So now what it's going to do is it will send you a code in your email. So you just have to simply open up your email. And right there is the code. So this is the code you're going to be presented with. Just copy that code. Go back to the downgrade. Where did I put it now? There it is. And just paste it in there. Sometimes you can't paste it. So what was that code again? 65VRC. 65VRC. And then you just hit OK. Did I do it wrong? 65. Oh, maybe I have to have it. Okay, there, it's in capitals. There we go. Select language, and then it'll tell you select language, and you also have this advanced control. So if you want to delete anything, it's all right in there. These are already all checked for you. So you just come over here to basic. You hit start downgrade. And then you just let it go. So we're going to let this run through and then I'll be back at the end of it. Okay, so I'm back. I just let it go through. It's uh, th doing its thing now. When you get to where it says processing uh, depot so-and-so out of seven, when you get to number three, be prepared because number three takes a heck of a long time. So, step one, manually download the uh, file of your choice. Step two, sign into your Steam. 
Step three, it will send you a code. Enter that code. Step four, start the downgrader and just let it run and do its thing. It, depending on your internet speed, it could be slow, it could be fast. But like I said, just let it do its thing. If you do not trust this mod and you do not want to use your sign in for your Steam, there are uh, guides out there at how to manually do it. Now, I've done it both ways. I've done it manually and I've done it using the Fallout 4 downgrader. I'm telling you, this way is a lot easier. It's all a matter of trust. If this does crash on you, you just simply restart the process and it will pick up where it left off. So like I said, you just let it do its thing and it'll fix everything. But like I said, it does take a while. And if you do have any issues, go into the comment section on his Nexus page. Or as you can see at the very bottom, he has provided an email. He does have a Discord server and the Discord server is listed. And if you want to just see the source files, if you know what to do with source files because I have no idea, but he has provided the source files. So that's just a quick, I'm going to just let it finish up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now the downgrader has finished doing its thing. So now we're going to test and make sure it works. I'm going to close that. Just click on yes all done close that so now what we're going to do is we're going to install the fallout 4 script extender you're going to just going to simply download the old version bring up your fallout uh, 4 folder you know you're in the right place by looking at fallout4.exe so we're going to open up our downloads close that bring that back up then you're just going to open up your F and then you're just going to highlight all of the files, simply drag them over and drop them in. Look, we're going to close all of this and we're going to run Fallout 4 SE Loader. And we're going to keep our fingers crossed and hopefully it works. It's worked for me before. And as you can see, we have no errors come up. So that's a good thing. Well, I'm going to just pause for just a quick second. Okay. Okay, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And everything is working. Just like we wanted. Start new game. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how to use the downgrader mod. If you have any issues, he does have his emails listed. So everything is listed. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone love you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.